Hey, do you want to know my biggest struggles when it comes to getting lean and how I've overcome these struggles to help get me in the best shape of my life? Stay tuned. Check out this video. You're not going to want to miss it. What's up everyone? How are we doing? So I wanted to talk a little bit about what my biggest issues have been when it comes to getting lean, when it comes to really like developing that lean, chiseled, ripped body, you know, veins coming out, abs popping, muscles looking good, looking lean, looking toned. It's not easy to get there sometimes. Now, there are tools that I follow and diet principles and training principles that help accelerate that process. But it's not an easy, easy thing. Like you have to mentally be strong. You have to mentally go, go into it, preparing yourself saying, all right, I'm going to get in shape by such and such a date. So the reason I wanted to make this video was to kind of share my biggest struggles with getting lean and really developing, you know, that body that I think is attractive. So I'll be honest with you. I love food. There's no getting around it. For some people, food isn't a big issue. Cravings aren't a big issue. For me, it's been my biggest enemy because I love to eat. Like I was a former, you know, former fat kid. I really struggled with my weight growing up and that has never really gone away. Like I've, I've been able to control it. I've been able to, you know, keep it in check for the most part, but I still slip up quite a bit. Like, I, I still don't go months, you know, or even weeks without having a cheat meal or without having, you know, a treat or, you know, going out to eat or having a drink here and there. Like life is all about balance, right? But the key word being balance, not going overboard one way or the other. Because what I found in the past is that when I would embark upon a fat loss journey, I would go extreme. I would train twice a day. I would eat like super, super low calories thinking, okay, like I'm on the fast track to get ripped. I'm going to get lean super quick. But what would happen was I would plumb in my hormones. So my cravings would go through the roof and plus I'm training twice a day, right? So I'm putting all this demand on my body and my body's like, yo, feed me right now. And we want the good stuff. We want the sweets. We want, you know, the salty foods, the sweet food. So what would happen was I'd be on that like crash diet for like two or three days on the third or fourth day, I would end up binge eating and pretty much undo all the hard work from before. So crash dieting and binge eating is never the way to go. For me, the biggest thing that has helped me reach my goals is being accountable. So whether that's hiring a coach, whether that's, you know, entering some type of challenge where I'm competing not only against me, but I'm competing against other people or you know, just having some type of deadline. Like in the past, I've actually called up fitness photographers and said, Hey, I want to do a photo shoot on such and such a date. And I would usually give myself like two months, two to three months to get ready. And that way I knew I had to be ready by that, that date. So it would kind of keep me accountable. And for me, accountability has always been my biggest issue. Like if I'm not accountable to someone, then, you know, I'm probably gonna have that piece of cake at nine o'clock at night when I'm watching my favorite TV show, right? I mean, it's not like I'm getting ready for a fitness competition or it's not like I have a photo shoot tomorrow. But if I put something on my calendar like, hey, you need to be in your best shape possible, you know, 21 days from now or 30 days from now, then I'm probably not gonna have that piece of cake or I'm probably not gonna go, you know, binge eat on the weekends because I have a target, I have a goal in my mind. So the biggest thing for me, and I would suggest to you as well, is give yourself some type of target to hit. So maybe it's three weeks, maybe it's you know two months, 60 days, depending on how much weight you have to lose or depending what kind of shape you wanna get into, give yourself a target and say, okay, by this date, I wanna weigh this much or I wanna look like this. And once you give yourself a target, you can start making smaller goals. So each week you can say, okay, I want to lose two pounds each week. If I lose two pounds each week for four weeks, that will be eight pounds lost. That will get me to my goal weight or, you know, engineer it to where it fits your goals, right? Engineer it to where it fits 
the weight you want to lose. So my biggest thing when it comes to getting lean, I would say is accountability. Be accountable to someone. Even if it's a friend, even if it's your parent, even if it's a boyfriend, girlfriend, tell them, say, hey, I am declaring it today on such and such a date, I am going to weigh this much. I am going to look like this. Take your before pictures and look at it every single day. Put your before picture on your bathroom mirror. Don't just have it in your phone, but put it in a spot that you're gonna see every single day, every morning when you wake up and every night before you go to bed. And that's gonna keep you motivated. It's gonna be in your head. It's gonna be ingrained in your head to say, okay, I have to beat this person. I am my own competition. It's gonna help keep you motivated along the way because we, we all have weak moments. We all have those nights where we wanna go eat ice cream. We all have those days where we, we've had a rough day at work. We just wanna come home and stuff our face. We don't wanna to go to the gym, right? That's part of being human and you're normal and it's okay. It's okay to fall off the wagon. No one's perfect, I'm far from perfect, but I've learned how to reach my goals while being imperfect. So that is the goal, right? To reach your goals by being imperfect. You don't have to be perfect. No one's perfect. The best bodybuilders in the world and the best fitness people in the world and the people on the magazine covers are far from perfect, but they've found a way and managed to get in the best shape possible. So with that being said, the 21 day extreme shred challenge is almost ready. If you haven't signed up, I would highly suggest getting on the list. It's 21 days. You're gonna drop so much weight in three weeks. Your body's gonna transform. I promise you, it's three weeks. It goes by really, really quickly. I'm already down like 13 pounds in two weeks and I still have another week to go. Get on the list if you're not on the list. I'm gonna include the link below. I love you guys. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to shoot me a message, DM me, um, or write a comment. Take care, guys.